over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Boss mode. Wish a nigga would run up on me because I have a low white blood cell count. My two fists are the only white blood cells I need against you, nigga. Fuck out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, so I guess the fake outrage for the, the Devin Haney comment just kind of faded away now. I mean, I mean, we knew it would. That, that, that's no surprise. Boxing <laughs> got so boring. <laughs> yeah, you know. Boxing, boxing got so boring, even the soapbox couldn't save it. This this fake soapbox web only lasted for a week and a half, and now it's gone. Yeah, you know, cause it probably got drawn up by more Corona news and shit like that. So it was just like, but then he did apologize. So it kind of just was like a. Which he should, uh, he should, yeah, he should, he shouldn't have. Honestly, he shouldn't have apologized. Like, yeah, he should have. He should have just, he should have just stayed with what he said. Like, yeah, I don't even. I don't even... Brought up anytime he faced a white boxer, so yeah, you could exactly. all be like, okay, hmm, is it gonna be this time? Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure did did B Hop even apologize for what he said? That I don't remember him apologizing. Nah, I don't remember him apologizing. Nah, B Hop B Hop is a straight G. So he's not. Of course, he's not gonna apologize. And in fact, the, 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 he just had to end up taking that ass over from Kawasaki. That's all. yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what it is. Like, all, I mean, first of all, they didn't say nothing about B Hop. Just like, yeah, whatever. He's just mouth off. And then you know, once he got asked about Kawasaki, it's like, ah, B Hop, you, you lost to a white boy. You know what I said? That's that's literally yeah, all it was. Man, man. That's all it was, and I know he didn't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, and I think part two because B Hop, you know, he's been to prison, so they're like, oh, I mean, I expect B Hop to say that, but Devin Hayes supposed to be like the golden boy or whatever. So he's saying some shit like that. It's like, why are you saying that, Devin? Why? No. <laughs> you fumbled the imaginary bag that doesn't even exist because real endorsements and sponsors ain't really something that happens in boxing. Or well, it happens only if you're a white. American fighter, particularly a white, yeah. heavy American heavyweight, you know. Yeah. Then, then, I, you, then you get Mike Lee endorsements. <laughs> my boy, my boy was actually saying he feels like they should use this whole controversy as a way to get him a Loma fight. Like, I don't think that's gonna work, but he should get the Loma fight anyway. The fuck, yeah. like, yeah, he shouldn't have. Yeah. No, but, it, I mean, that's a whole. We don't even know if Lomachenko gonna be, you know, what's gonna be left from the Teofimo fight anyway. So I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. We can't look past Teofimo. That's that's a real. That's a real fight right there. Like, yeah, yes. There's always real fights, you know. Damn, boxing needs to come back already. Fuck, we should have had that already. And yeah, and well, I mean, now we have, you know, we have some fights that are being announced, like that stupid tank LSC fight. Which I'm really not a fan of. I mean, I'm cool I'm, with it. I'm, 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 I think it's a I'm dope. actually, yeah, I'm actually not poo pooing it like you are. I'm actually, it it's be, it should be better than better than the Gamboa fight. But then again, it might be interesting. Like, I don't it's know. better it's than good. any Terence Crawford fight since the Gamboa fight. Damn, nah. this thing is on. This thing has his. This thing has his foot on fucking. Crawford's neck. These nigga, do you want a pair of my Tim's? Like, I can give you a pair of my Tim's. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna... Oh, New Balance is a dude just right. <laughs> and they yeah. nice and comfortable. I mean, size well, 13. Size 13. Damn, you little nigga with big feet. Jesus. Oh, uh, yeah. The yeah, better I'll, I'll box you with, with footwork. Yeah. Nigga, I'm, Damn. I'm I'm like six, three and a half, and I have size 12s, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, no, no, I normally wear a size 12, but you know, my feet are fucked up, you know, plantar and fasciitis. And 10, and, 10 and a half for me. 10, no. uh, 10 and a half. It's abnormal, somewhere. I'm little nigga feet right there. <laughs> no, 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 that's not little nigga feet. Like, I don't know. I mean, I like, we the same height, and I got like, you know, five, you know, I got, I got 12s. Like, but that's, 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 cause that's an abnormal. That's actually big for, for someone your height, like that's like that's like if you were, that's like that's no, not normal. That's above normal, <laughs> like normal in a good way. Like that would be like that would be like if you had like imagine if you had 11 inch hands. That's abnormal. That's abnormal for somebody that's 5'10". My hands are like nine inches. 
Like somebody five nine, five ten, your hands should be like nine, nine and a half inches. Fucking like like Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is five eleven at the, he's a he's a quarterback. But and he he fucking he has eleven and a half inch hands. Pause. But like this you nigga hands is eight inches. I, I had a ruler right in front of me. That's Damn. Like, that's like, <laughs> That, that's I like, got a little, little hand. That's like, this that's like, nigga, LB does, that's, this nigga's that's LB like, Floyd. Oh, go ahead, P. I, I was just saying, that's like Floyd. Floyd is only, what, five, seven, five, eight? And yet, he, he, his his reach advantage is crazy. He has, I think he has like an 84 inch reach, which is like, some, which is like the normal reach of somebody that's, that's like, like 5'11. Shit, uh, that's my reach. No, 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 or, no, 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 actually, no, I don't think maybe it's not 84. I think it's like, no, sorry. I think it's I like 81. No. Or something. I, no, I think it's like I don't remember how I gotta look, but it's 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 somebody that has that's only five eight. He has a bigger reach, like he has a reach of somebody that's like five eleven, six foot, which is crazy. Yes, yeah, that's it. I guess I'm the only nigga with normal dimensions around here. <laughs> this nigga LB, yeah, normal on steroids. This nigga LB, you know, his footwork, you know, he does his footwork in fucking orthopedic shoes, nigga. You know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, it's better than, it's nice. better than, it's it's not as it's not as bad as somebody like fucking Gary Russell who has T Rex arms and he's already small as fuck. Like, how does how, how is that even possible? Oh, nigga, when you fast, know. you fast. T Rex. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See, that nigga's fast. That's what happens when you when you fast. You know, everything. That's your advantage right there. I mean, like I said, you know. I'm, me has having fast hands I can relate to, you know, but I don't have T Rex arms though. Obviously, I, I just have fast hands. <laughs> no, but that, 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 that's what T Rex are like. T Rex arms are somebody that's big that has smaller arms. How are you small and have even smaller arms than you're supposed to? Like God punished you there. <laughs> I mean, he still knocks niggas out though, so he's doing so he's doing something right. I mean, you got to take what uh, physical dimensions and attributes you get, and then you got to make do with them. But but as far as the Loman, I'm sorry, as far as the the Tang LSC fight, that's a good fight. Like like yeah, you know, Leo Santa Cruz might be a little undersized, but and it's at one thirty. Not that much. Yeah, this nigga. It's, it's, a, it's at one thirty. That's what makes me. If it was at one thirty five, I'd probably really. Oh, it's at one thirty. It. Oh, that's not gonna yes. happen. Yeah, that's not happening. No, yeah, that's not going to happen. He's miss weight. And then LLP... 135. He's... Yeah, why he playing himself? It needed to be, like, your Paleo Santa Cruz, an extra million or whatever, or 500K. Have it at 135, and when the fight over, he could go back down. Like, yeah, no, or yeah. just... Or, they, or be, there better be fucking, um, con, like, a, a weight clause contract in there where he has to pay, pay, cough up some extra dough for every pound he comes in overweight. yeah. Yeah, I don't understand how he's blown away. Like, Tank is a small dude. How can he not make 130? Like, like I mean, I don't understand what his problem is. Like, it's the discipline, <laughs> man. Like, dude, dude, eating habits. And I don't think dudes are really training and staying in the gym like that, man. Let's just be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I just don't, I just don't understand why. He, I mean, he blow. I mean, we all see pictures of him. Dude blows up. He's like, he looks like a fucking cabbage patch though when he fucking, when he, when he when he's not in the gym, so it's just like, you know, what the fuck, you know? It's just like, how does he blow up to looking like like he's like one seventy, one eighty, like you know, like he does? Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. And, and that's the thing. It's like it's worse than when Broner was doing it because he's even shorter, like smaller than Broner. So yeah, you can tell his frame ain't supposed to be, you know, holding all of that. Like it, like I, I look at it like if if you you're supposed to be fighting within twenty pounds of your weight, like. If you fighting at 135, then you honestly shouldn't be walking around higher than 155. Right. Even 160 is kind of pushing it. But if you you already have 180, 190, and you fighting at 135, nah, that's a problem. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that means you're eating too goddamn much. Eating too much and you fighting at a weight that you should be at 140 now, if that's the case. Right. Yeah, and that's why I, that's why when I hear one third, I'm like, yeah, LC has fight because LC will. I'm pretty sure will not fight if this nigga blows weight. He won't. Yeah, yeah but that's LC, a, LC don't LC don't take don't risk like that. He takes very calculated risk. He's not gonna fight a nigga that's like you know, that's blowing weight because he's gonna. Nah, that, that, if it comes to the fight happening or not, and it's like the day of the fight or like the week of the fight, he'll fight it. I'll, I'll look out for dude. I'm telling you, like. 
they see who's the bigger star, who has the momentum, they're going to do everything they can to make Tank worth it. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. you know, they not, they're going to take from the Broner mistakes and all that shit. And not, you know, you, you already see that they skipping the Broner steps. They're not building him up on no solid foundation. You know what I'm saying? He fought really a bunch of career mode dudes. And yeah, even, even, even honestly, now that you mention it, even Broner's build up wasn't mishandled like this. Broner's yeah. actual build up was actually yeah. handled pretty well before he. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So when when you look at you know Tank Tank and he's blowing up in weight like he hasn't really put in like you know even a Broner was fighting the damn um the, the Escobedos and and uh, other world Gavin, the, the Gavin Reese and the... yeah mm-hmm. but uh, those those guys have been at least more proven than the guys Tank fighting the Jason Jason. La- Litzow's of the world, or however the fuck you say his last name. Yeah, season. Jason Litzow. Yeah, who, who's not even a bad fighter. It's just he's one of those hot and cold, you know, focused type of fighters. Like, when he's hot, he's hot. He can box, but then he has so many moments where he showboat or he fall apart mentally in a fight. Nah, he was, he was, he, he, he didn't have a chin. <laughs> that, 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 was that, too, that too. Yeah. You know, he, he was, you know, his durability, you know what I mean? But. I think, I think honestly, I think that's when when people really, really to me when people really started like when I started seeing people believe in Broner when he beat the shit out of Litzow. That's when I think he started gaining fans. That was his Angel yeah. Man Freddy uh, fight. Yeah. Like I when Floyd had that like that 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 knockout of Angel Man Freddy, it was like ooh, so like, okay, yeah, he's here now. Like. Right, you know. But yeah, yeah, I just well tank I just don't see like tank I mean I, I, I think tank could swim, like you know, I, I mean I don't think if you put him in a situation where Sake could swim, I think he could swim. But I think naturally has, he, he punched harder than Broner for like that weight. Hell yeah he yeah. does. But he's just he's just not focused, but I mean, he's even less focused than Broner, which is which is a feat in itself. You know, it's just like Maybe, I don't I don't know if he even likes boxing as much as Broner, man. I don't I don't know. Bro- Broder likes the fuckery. That, Broder, nah, Broder likes the fuckery that comes with boxing. I think he, I mean, you know, he does like boxing, but he he likes the fuckery too. Yeah, yeah, yo, no, 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 no doubt. But like, I don't even know if Tank. I don't even know if Tank at that level. Mm. Like at that least with Broner, you kind of see it's like both, but the fuckery kind of take over. But with Tank, it's like the opponents and the matchmaking don't it don't reflect that. Yeah, no, it's uh. He already struggling with Gamboa. Like we didn't really see Broner struggle, struggle until, until what? I, I, I mean, I mean, people, people thought he lost the um the Ponce, uh, De Leo, yeah, Ponce, the De Leon, yeah, but. yeah. But that's Ponce de Leon, though, man. Yeah, you know, Ponce is. Yeah, you know, I still. I, I, mean, I mean, no, no. I mean, that's De Leon, but people thought Broner would win. Most people thought Broner. Yeah, would yeah, win of course. That fight. It, it was it was his first real like step up fight, and he was a bigger guy. Mm-hmm. But he fought a dude who who was skilled and, and he knew how to fight Broner. You know, you you would, you don't attack linear. You know, you move your head, punches and but bunches. No, you know, he no, did the right. Not, but that's what I'm saying. Like like you're saying like uh, I mean you're saying that Broner didn't have a mishap like early in his career. A lot of people I mean, look at that. That was as early, mishap. but. I mean that was early, but he was already on the world stage at that point. Sure, Ponce, sure. Ponce de Leon was a world class fighter. Mm-hmm. Like, who who is Tank really fought world class besides Pedraza? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, it's pretty much yeah, it's just, just been jobbers, <laughs> jobbers. Yeah. Or... And then Gamboa was like so, like past it. It's like yeah. Mm. Five years past it. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, like I wouldn't put Gamboa on the same level as the Ponce de Leon uh Broner fault. Yeah, no. yeah, no, 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 the, no. The De Leon the Broner fault was definitely better than the Gamboa the Tank fault. Yeah, for facts, you know. It's... And then it's one of those situations where you just 
I, I didn't look all that great in this one, but I got to show my ass and, you know, go hard the next one. And, and that's what Broner kind of did. Like, you didn't you didn't see another real hiccup until the damn Milanaji fight for some people. Yeah, yeah. And but then, he, he had to go on that run, though. Like, Tank hasn't had any type of run like that. Like, where is his DeMarco performance? Yeah, I was, that's still, to me, Broner's best performance to me, the DeMarco fight. Hell yeah. Like, that- when it's a mythical matchup, that's the Broner I'm using. That's that's <laughs> like you. If 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 uh, Litzau is is Broner's Manfredi, then to me, um, Demarco is his uh, Corrales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good analogy. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and then like I said, it just it didn't went in. Like I said, for Broner, it just went down. I mean, because I remember too, I used to, I used to, I used to call it, I was like, yo, Broner's undisciplined. Like, you know, why people cheering this shit? Like, this nigga's really undisciplined. Because <laughs> it was a fuckery. Uh, yeah, no, dude. but we, but, but at, at, at that time, I didn't think he was, I don't think we thought he was as undisciplined as he showed himself to be. Thought, I, oh, he had a- I thought ASAP. I was like, yo, this nigga's eating ice cream and shit and blowing weight. Like, that's, that's, that's. But he really way. didn't unravel until after the Polly Milanazi fight. Yeah. It's like you really saw the fuckery before that, but yeah. it's like during that time with the Milanazi fight and the Madonna fight, remember he went on tour. That's when you seen all those pictures with him having a gut and he eating them chili dog Cheeto colored covered nachos and shit. Yeah, I mean he, he did that shit again before on Madonna too. Like nigga, like when when the first like photos when they're together, Madonna already looked like he was in shape. And Broner was out there just looking bloated for no reason. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. And of course, the nigga ran that shit off too because he had that metabolism back then. So when you go into yeah. training camp and you training to lose weight instead of training to strategize and make the most of their abilities, it, it hits you. And that's why I'm feeling like they they making they keeping the training wheels on tank a lot longer. Well, I, it's, I, like it's not he's, working. He's, Nah, like this nigga's like a, a, a nine-year-old with train with training wheels on the bike. Nah, you you too old to be having training. Take them off. <laughs> nine-year-old shit, more like twelve. Like at this point, like yeah. But in, in this case, I, I I believe now at this point, I think it's tank. That's because I mean I know Floyd is one of the uppers competition, and this is and this is this is his upping in competition. Remember, he was he was scaring them with the Lomachenko threats. Yeah. Um, like Lomachenko, like, dude. <laughs> like, you should be, you should want to fight Lomachenko, and you know, Tech was complaining and shit. Like, I was just like, yeah. fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, so I ain't like that. That was scary. Like, I ain't, I ain't really like that. You, you supposed to be like, man, fuck that. Send them a year. Like, yeah, exactly. You know, be great. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think like, Zab would have said that. I don't even think Broner would have said that. Right, exactly. Like, all the people who came before him wouldn't have said that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's where take and now obviously if take takes an L to this LSC because I mean LSC, I mean we all talk about LSC is a disappointment to me. He's a disappointment to a lot of people. Like, and yeah, he, he's a disappoint. Uh, he's a disappointment, but for different reasons, different, different, totally yeah. different situation. And do and do kills main events and co-main events like nobody's business these days. <laughs> <laughs> he's like that one guy on the the posse cut that just. Like you, you just skip his part. You skip his verse. Like, like he, he's the he rampage. Always fucks it up. Yeah, he's like the he's like rampage on um Flavor in the Air, bro. Nah, fuck nah, out of here. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah. Ram, rampage. Nah, I would, and, I, I'd rather, verse. I'd rather, li- I'd rather listen to fucking rampage than he shit. Oh, blow yeah, yeah. Skin yeah, that's facts. Delicious. <laughs> L. Cool J was more out of place on that shit than Rampage. Like you can literally take Ramp, you could take L. Cool J verse of that song, and you won't miss anything. Well, exactly. I mean, so. <laughs> nah, we gonna anyway. put some respect on Rampage. You know, flip mode. <laughs> like this man, I be you. Like Silk the Shocker is a better example to me. <laughs> You have everybody r- ripping the song, fucking Master P stumble through 12 bars, and you're like, okay, you know, Seymour to come through, Fiend, Mia X ripping it, Mystical, Soldier Slam, and then you get the silk part, and you're like, God damn, what this nigga doing? He yelling and screaming and putting and, and 20 always syllables in the bar. And always <laughs> off beat. Can't find a beat to save his life. Off beat? No, no, no. He's on beat. It's just the beat ain't on him. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 after like, him. 
like beat like uh, like so will go rap fast and then he'll rap like all slow and low too and then, like he, he changed the pitch of his flow which is annoying like he'd be yeah. doing like in mid bar you know like it, it, i mean it, it's like the truth like true uh, it sounds like a, a cross between e40 and mystical <laughs> nah, at least, nah, but it, nah, at least Mystical was smooth with it. Like, yeah, no, no, I'm just uh, saying like, his blend. Like, nah, Mystical yeah. was dope as fuck. I'm just saying, like, it sounded like he tried to bite Mystical. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, at the yeah. same time. Because <laughs> remember, like, Silk wasn't even rapping all like that until No Limit signed Mystical. He wasn't doing all that, as much all that yelling and trying to rap fast and... Mm-hmm. All that bullshit. Like it's almost like he was competing with dude. I'm like, nigga, how you gonna compete with somebody using their style? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, no limit, you know, was a whole bunch there was a whole bunch of biters on there, bruh. You know, uh, well, well it's not a whole bunch of them, but some of them. They would they used to bite a lot. Master P, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean you could just you could have just saved it to him. I mean <laughs> He was the whole, he was, he was the figurehead of that shit. <laughs> but, but the one thing, um, going back, the one thing I will say is I think that Tank actually has more of a chance of redeeming himself and getting himself back on track than Santa Cruz. I think LSC, that ship has kind of almost sailed, honestly. Yeah, well, that depends if he wins. If Leo Santa Cruz gets the upset, then yeah, yes. the world is his. But if, if Tank wins, and if Tank wins real good, like, first of all, if it's a good fight, I think they both win. But if it's a good fight and Tank wins and he wins dominant, like, clean, then like, it's like, the world is his, man. Yeah, like, and like, like if he gets LC the fuck up out here, like, you know, like that, then yeah, then, you know. Yeah. Like, if he, if he take him out in five rounds. Definitely. Yeah. Or if LC actually... Or if LSC actually, you know, re, or, you know, finds his bantamweight days and just pummels um, Tank into submission, you know. Yeah, or, yeah, I don't see that happening. But <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. Like, so, I right, let me ask you this: Is do you, does does Leo Santa Cruz have a chance? Because you like I the mean, fight, he, he does. Yeah, he, ha- he has a chance, but I don't like his chances. But he has a chance. It, but it, there's too many variables. What tank are we getting? Like, because really, so what Leo Santa Cruz are we getting? Right. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, okay, what's the percentage? Like, if you was to say like what 60, 40, 70, 30, 55, 45. I, I, uh, 75, 25. God damn! And hold on, wait, 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 wait. We up here, you up here saying this is a good fight and you like it and all that, but damn you make it that much to of me, a favorite but to like, me but to me uh, okay you know I, i'll say 70 30 but tank is the clear favorite to me that's the thing i'm like trying to oh, tank nah, is nah, the not, he he is he is but i feel like it it, it ain't gonna be no walk in the park like i don't feel like no, no but it's, that doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna be a walk in the park it's gonna be a tough fight but i think at the end of the day tank is clearly going to win and I think LSC will have his moments. I don't know if he'll be able to turn back the hands of time to fucking bantamweight LSC. I don't. I, I don't know. I, and but I don't even think it more might be a thing of he might not even have to turn it back because this nigga tank can't get out of his own fucking way. Right. <laughs> I mean, if the tank from the Gamboa fight show up, then I don't know. Like, Leo <laughs> Santa Cruz nah, just turn it back but, to the Marez fight. To be fair, but to be fair. Tank hasn't really, like, if, if if Tank Tank usually follows up his bad performance with a good one, so it might be now his time to have a good performance. I don't remember him. I don't remember the last. I don't I mean, think he's you ever. Turned, damn cans and shit. You you bound to look good too. <laughs> I, I, I I get it, but we haven't seen him, you know, turn in multiple clunkers like simultaneously. Yeah. No, so, that, that's true. He, he don't. He doesn't have a set pattern like uh, Billy Joe Saunders or or um, Lu- Lucas Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So no, so, no. Nah, nah, I, I feel you. I feel you. You right. We we'll give him a chance. Yeah. No. I mean, LC has a chance, but like I said, I mean, LC usually does come to the ring in condition, and usually it's just you know the way he See, fights. That's, that's what I'm worried about. That and that fucking jab. Yeah. But he's not. He's not going to be able to bully. Bully, um, 
Gervonta, so that's a big thing. And his, his like the, the, the size advantage might be too, too much in, in this instance just because of their style wise. I don't think I don't think if even if he but turns back to is taller, right? Was that I mean like by like an inch or two? Taller, yeah. right? I think he is. Yeah, he is taller by like two inches or so. Yeah, so that's uh, like five eight or some shit like that. I feel like that's enough right there. Like, I'm not saying he could bully him, but if he fights aggressive and he puts Tank back, we can have a good last little fight on our hands. But he can't let Tank just go forward and just do what he wants. Like, if he lets that happen, then yeah, I think Tank will crack him with something and it'll be done. Yeah, that that that'll be. It. I mean, so I mean, that's what I said. I mean, I get, I give LSC. Maybe a sixty-five, thirty-five chance of. See, see, that's how I was looking at it. Like, like, you know, seventy, thirty, you know, sixty-five, thirty-five, maybe even sixty, forty. Because mm-hmm. I'm just not sold on Tank being like, like maybe pulling that out in a distance fight. Like, I feel like he would have to knock him out. Like, right? Because LSC does. I mean. I mean, he's a volume puncher, and I mean, although lately his volume punching has been absolutely horrid to watch, but he's a volume puncher. He will throw and throw and throw. And if, and if and that he, fight's in LA, man, you know, anytime Leo Santa Cruz lands something or come forward, the crowd is swaying and all that shit. Yeah. Like, ooh, ah. Yeah, all types yeah. of things. So it's, it's a lot of factors, but. Uh, I'm, I'm for it. Uh, other, other than that, like, the other shit, um. Everybody going crazy over Mike Tyson, you know, hitting the mitts for eight seconds. Yeah. Oh lord. I yeah, mean, it's imp- I mean, it's cool to see him, like, you know, at fifty three, still looking like he could fucking just still knock out half the half the division. But yeah, let's not let's not go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mike is. I mean, I mean, Mike is a is a is a character. Like, I mean, it was it was a trip going to his Instagram page. You see, all them celebs are just marking out like they're all like, yeah, you know, hey, Mike Tyson, Mike. like Mike can wipe out the heavyweight division, which says a lot about the heavyweight division today, which is which is not really good when pe- when people are thinking that way and saying shit like that out loud. But you uh, know what? I, I, I'll say this: it speaks more on the popularity and the marketing of boxing for people to say that. Yeah, because that means no one knows the heavyweights. The heavyweights aren't inspiring nobody. They're not making people stand up and take notice. You know, no nobody in... I don't, I don't think a lot of the... You know, I, I know that's coming from a lot of Americans. I don't think nobody's, you know, on the other side of the pond is really saying that. Yeah, no, because, I mean, Joshua is, you know, Joshua... Although, I mean, I know they say, you know, boxing is not the most popular sport, but they know Joshua because Joshua is, like... You know, he's like he's like probably the top athlete there, or or one of the top three at the you know least. You know? I, I'm not even looking at it. I, I was looking more at like Dylan White and just Joyce and du, Dubois. Dubois, <laughs> Dubois. Yeah. I'm looking at all the young guns. I, I'm, I'm not even looking at Joshua because I feel like you know Joshua might need another fight before the public, at least Americans, really kind of. Well, Joshua, I mean, Joshua needs to come back to America and probably win. Get that too. Yeah. You know, because, hey, I mean, he, he got redemption with Ruiz, but yeah, but, I don't know if everybody's looking at him like on something like, hmm. And then, uh, and like, and then, and honestly, the big thing is, you know, because American heavyweights are not where the, and then Wilder was the most known American heavyweight, and then people just saw him get undressed, you know? Yeah. So it's like, grasping for something so yeah, yeah and, and you know for same boxing the you know the heavyweight boxing and and just the marketing like no one no one knows who these boxers are unless it's a fight coming up and right and the fact that mike tyson can let off a six punch combination on the mitts they have all these celebrities and it's not not, not like one two like, literally like like 200 celebrities were like and that's not even like you know um bullshit but all on this nigga's page, like, yo, Mac, you still got it. Mike, you can wipe out this. Mike, not, Mike, not to Mike, count all the ones who's reposting it, who didn't even go to his page. They just saw it and they reposted it. Yeah, and it's not it's not just the slaves too. Like, it's even other fighters, too. Like, you know, Ryan Garcia, 
you know, someone like Zab Judas, of course, Zab Judas is men and everything like that. So, but yeah, like other boxers are like, oh, I can't go out. I, I wouldn't go in the ring with that nigga and shit like that. And I'm just like, damn, is it really like that? That, I mean, and, I, and I've always said Tyson is like the, it's like the closest thing we have to a Muhammad Ali in boxing today. And, you know, you know, and, but it's like, it, I mean, something like that, something like this, like really, like, you know, really um, cements that. And then now, of course, you hear, you know, Tyson and then also Van Holyfield might be um, reportedly training to do exhibitions now. Because um, yeah, they're getting offers now. Um, I think yeah. Mike got offered a million bucks in, um, from Australia to fight some rugby players. Yeah. And honestly, I don't even have a problem. With, I mean, because, I mean, but, I mean, I mean, heavyweights, I mean, retired fighters have, have always done exhibitions. Well, I mean, I, but not like the Floyd yeah, exhibitions. Tyson's done them before himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tyson did it with Corey Sanders. I mean, that shit was actually, that shit was, was that shit pay-per-view too? Yeah, that shit was. I, I believe it was. But in this one. I mean, the marketing, I mean, man, it's like, they got to kill this pay-per-view shit, bro. Yeah, and, I, and I'm trying to remember how, because I, I know I didn't pay for that pay-per-view. I, I, and, but then that was when hot boxes were done. I'm trying to remember how did I actually watch that? I watched it live. I don't remember if I. I know I didn't pay for it. Um, well, I might, might have actually been one of the areas where the hot box <laughs> was still like going. But but I remember too because he I mean he was he was giving Corey Sanders the business <laughs> in that exhibition. But I'm not gonna laugh to him. Try to help him up like nah, man. Just let him fall. Like you, we know it's an exhibition. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and Corey, and, and Corey Sanders, the big Corey Sanders, not, you know, not the rest in peace Corey Sanders, the one that has, you know, he already, you know, he's like, he has that, the white eye, the the method man eye. So, yeah. it was like, you know, you couldn't like really celebrate what he was doing. I mean, because Corey Sanders was like finished too. <laughs> yeah. You know, but then, but yeah, I mean, yeah, man, heavyweights have always done exhibitions. I know Muhammad Ali did exhibitions. Well, after he retired, like I think he did him up to like 1986, which is, in 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 hindsight, that's probably wasn't a good thing for him to do. But yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, there, there's 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 that one exhibition he did in 1984, like before he before he got diagnosed with Parkinson's, you know, and- because the boxers back then weren't afraid to put themselves out there. Like now, everybody they keep their training a secret, they keep their sparring a secret. You don't see shit. So when you see a well-known boxer come out there and do some mints. Boom. I mean, we've yeah. seen Floyd do his little, do little training vids and tease people, but no one, because it's just a little bullshit. He's not ripping the band. Floyd, no big puncher like that. So, right. So unless he, unless he got Roger there doing a routine, it's like, yeah, and then like, and the first, special, like, yeah, yeah, like when when Floyd used to do his routine, I mean, there was a purpose to his, like, I mean, Floyd wasn't doing it just to bullshit or whatever. There was a method to his madness, and then you see other fighters doing that shit, and you're like, dog, do you even know what you're doing? And, and, it, and, it, and it filtered down to where you have motherfuckers like Drake doing that shit and doing that shit like wrong, and in the people in the but you, but you saw how it affected the sport, it made people, you know tune in and make people look at it and repost and and that's what Tyson just did so I feel like a lot of and other top boxers need to do that shit need, need to start streaming some training videos and and and, and sparring and shit because that's what people want to see like I don't know what this whole thing about ah, you can't see me spar type shit like no one gives a fuck and, and, and the fact is too, because I mean, just today I saw Andre Berto post the same video. Like he, he, he literally mimicked the whole Tyson. Yeah, routine. yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, I mean, how, it's like, how's it like? I mean, although I don't know what Berto is in terms of an active and active boxer or whatever. I mean, dude, this been fought in what a quite a while, you know. But it's, it's like crazy to me, like how actual boxers that are active today are fawning over that shit too. I'm like. You know, you probably could have done the same shit too. You didn't have to wait for a 53 year old Mike Tyson to go do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no one tries to damn promote themselves. Like I'm, I'm just like wow, and and that's why you got some of these guys still hanging around. They can still get exhibition matches because they fought the type of fights at the right time and did all the legendary shit. And the sport moved too slow, so new stars ain't being made as fast as they were back then. 
So the old star, the old established star shows that he still got it. And I mean, it's not the first time Mike has put out a video like that. I mean, the Mike, it, Mike is, you know, for is still running. I mean, dude is stay, he stays giving advice to these young fighters. You see him pivoting and shit like, you mean, showing like, showing like random white dudes that, you know. Anytime he does a clip, it gets viral. But this one was the craziest because it was him himself yeah. actually hitting the mitts. He wasn't instructing nobody. I remember the one where he had his daughter on the mitts and, you know, because it helped for the tennis swings and all that shit. And, right. You know, that went viral. People love that. So, I mean, he, he just has that aura of people like it. But I feel like a lot of boxers need to, you know, take some pages out of that and and, and start being more interactive, start being more creative with your training and posting shit up. Like, you know, you got to keep your name buzzing. You know, you're only fighting twice a year. And who knows if you're fighting again this year. Right? You know, it's, oh, you know that's, that's all I'm saying about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I mean, Tyson is, I mean, Tyson, Holyfield doing exhibitions. You know, I mean, that's, I mean, it's all good to me. Like, I, I'd rather say as long as it's not pay-per-view. Like, if you, if you want to, like, do it on HBO or Showtime or ESPN or some shit like that. Or hell, I mean, or throw it on the zone, you know, fuck it. You know, yeah, um, I, I seen some of Bob Abram, I think he was talking about um, having the, uh, bringing pay-per-views back to $40, like making them cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even want that type of line of thinking to catch on because we know they're going to be trying to give us bullshit cards if that happens. You're not going to get no three three title fights. If if, if a card in the, on the zone you know it it is better matched up than a pay per view that's a problem facts so i mean kill all that noise don't try to sell me a crawford you know kell brook pay per view like cuz that's only going to work if you going to put hooker pro gray on the knee fit put teofimo lopez fighting uh Lenares or somebody on the, underneath it, like <laughs> I, I, I want about like four or five title fight, you know, shootout type bouts, like right, no, exactly, you know, but uh, that remains to be seen. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna start be, cutting value and not nah, keep that shit. Right, I mean, like I said, no, I mean, because right now it's just all speculation to see. What you know? What boxing's gonna look like when it comes back? I mean, the promoter's gonna be like, okay, yeah, we need to get these fighters active and get the get a, get a paycheck in their systems, you know, in their bank accounts or whatever, so they can do it. So they're either gonna we're gonna have like pack cards for like the three four months after everything is lifted, or we're gonna still get the same old same old, you know? Yeah, because what they're gonna have to do is start looking at it like this, instead of having. Stretch out these major fights or these main events that they have. Put all the main events on one fucking card. Yeah, what a concept, you get right? Four, four months worth of boxing on one night. I'm saying, what a concept, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. Like back in the day, like you would have had. I mean, come on, even PBC was doing it. I mean, with Thurman Soto Carras. Uh, I think what Broner, Madonna, who else was fighting that night? Like, well, technically that wasn't really PBC. That was Showtime when Golden Boy. Yeah, it was Showtime. Yeah, Showtime. Yeah, well, Showtime still used to do it. Even, I mean, what uh, Kalichko, uh, Williamson, uh, Lace, yeah, Vanderpool. Yeah, they, um, they, they, yeah, they used to do it, but now it's, it's until stakes got a little higher, you know. And, yeah, man, they got to jump back on it. Like now. That's three months worth of boxing before they say, you know what, we'll give you this fight tonight. Give you something just as good and something even better for the main event. I mean, but then I still don't want to be, I still don't want like a Showtime and the Zone having cards and I'm, and I'm forced to like watch one of my laptop and watch one of my TV. Like, you know, playing that shit out a little better so, there's, there's, so I can keep my attention on one fucking card. You know, yeah, unless, unless it's going to be like one after the other. <laughs> Yeah, facts. You know, but either yeah, we need all this because, like I said, a, a former fifty-three, a former heavyweight champion of the world who's fifty-three years old shouldn't be having the attention of the boxing world like this. You know, it shouldn't, and the reaction shouldn't be to the point where most people want to want to see, see want to see if he still has it, than seeing the fighters today that do have it. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So y'all yeah, let that old man come back and take all y'all shine. Yeah, exactly. And but then it's Mike Tyson though. I mean, niggas will just be like, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Yeah, that, that, that shit with Ti. Uh, we have the tip, the tipster. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Ti didn't like that hilarious. shit. You didn't, you didn't like that shit at all. But it's just like that shit was hilarious though, and nothing fucking Ti could do about it. The funny thing is too, Ti will bark at Floyd all fucking day. He was when he when he had his little thing. I mean, call him. Uh, Floyd a fuck nigga and all, that that song that smooth yeah. out of this song. <laughs> yeah, he had that energy for Tyson. Yeah, no, no. If he does that, and then Michael will, would you say to me, nigga? You know, like that, you know, roll up on him and shit like that. Yeah, the tips. <laughs> 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 that sounds like a damn like a super villain that fucking snitches all the time. Like, <laughs> just, just imagine like you like he, he's like he a super villain to other villains. Like imagine you about the damn could do some crime shit and then you know the fucking tipster sees you like oh I'm gonna tell Spider Man on your bitch ass. Like, nah, nigga, like it's the tipster. <laughs> Oh yeah. man, what you doing over there? Man? I see you breaking into that Lexus. Yeah. <laughs> Where Batman at? Like, god damn fucking tipster. Like, <laughs> you know, it, it's funny to get T.I. walks it, out. <laughs> you know, T.I. was just so uncomfortable. Like, he didn't want to, like, it, it, like, but like I said, you know, what, who's he the, who's he the Mike? You know, he's not. Gonna, the oh. other guy, the other host said it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what sealed it. Like, it wasn't just Mike. It's like they both said it. Like they just bounced it off each other on some like, yeah, it's the tips to like. Because <laughs> it's one thing if someone says a nickname or he get at you, but when the whole room say it on your ass and something. Yeah. Like... That's like, well, Mike said it first, so it's all right. Yeah, like, like yo, get at him, like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, if if I was in the dude's shoe, if I was in the white dude's shoes, and Ti would have said something to me, I would have been like. Shit, Mike said it. <laughs> yeah, no, right. <laughs> I done stood it right, but like, shit, Mike said it, like, <laughs> you know. And then you know, and then Mike would just punk him out or whatever, and it's yeah. just like, so um, it's like, don't even start. You just gotta eat that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, just, just eat it, bro. Like, I mean, you, a, you a millionaire. Yeah, I mean, eat that. They rather eat a Tyson uppercut because you didn't because you didn't know yeah. how that was gonna react. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean. Like, like I said, you a millionaire, just you're not a millionaire and uh, the baddest man on the planet. You know, you got one of them, you know, another right. guy has two. So, hey. Yeah, you, just, you just eat that L and just be glad you're in the presence. <laughs> Most people don't even become a millionaire, so. <laughs> Facts. Oh, man. But, yo, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the main podcast show. Let's do this intro real quick. <laughs> 